Welcome to today's lecture on Tensor Processing Units, or TPUs. TPUs are specialized hardware developed by Google, designed specifically to accelerate machine learning and deep learning tasks. Unlike general purpose processors, such as CPUs or even GPUs, TPUs are custom built for one thing, making neural networks faster and more efficient. They play a critical role in modern AI applications, from Google Translate to Google Photos, and even in training large-scale models like ChatGPT. So how do TPUs work? At their core, TPUs are designed to handle matrix multiplications, the backbone of neural networks. Every layer of a deep learning model involves multiplying huge amounts of numbers. TPUs use a special component called a matrix multiply unit, or MXU, which can perform thousands of operations in parallel. This makes them highly optimized for the types of calculations used in machine learning models, especially deep neural networks. Technically, TPUs are Application-Specific Integrated Circuits, or ASICs. Google has released several generations of TPUs. The first TPU was designed for inference, the process of making predictions using trained models. Later versions, like TPU v2 and TPU v3, added support for training, with massive computational power and high bandwidth memory. These chips can deliver performance measured in teraflops and are connected through high-speed interconnects for scaling across multiple units in data centers. TPUs offer some clear advantages. They're incredibly fast and efficient at handling large-scale machine learning models. They reduce the training time of AI models from weeks to days or even hours. Their energy efficiency is another benefit, since they use less power compared to traditional GPUs for the same workloads. But TPUs aren't perfect. One disadvantage is that they're highly specialized, which means they're not as flexible as CPUs or GPUs. They work best for neural network tasks, but are less useful for general purpose computations. Another drawback is accessibility. TPUs are primarily available through Google Cloud, which means you can't just buy one and plug it into your PC. Let's compare TPUs with CPUs and GPUs. CPUs are general-purpose processors, great for versatility, but slow for deep learning. GPUs are highly parallel processors that handle AI much better than CPUs. But TPUs take it a step further. They are even more optimized for tensor operations, giving them an edge in speed and energy efficiency. However, GPUs still remain more widely available and flexible for developers. In summary, TPUs represent a major step in AI hardware innovation. They're not meant to replace CPUs or GPUs, but to complement them in specific workloads. As AI continues to grow, hardware like TPUs will be key in training and deploying the next generation of intelligent systems. The future may bring even more powerful, specialized processors, shaping how we build and use AI.